You know, four-day meet, uh, started off with night one, was really successful, had a school record go down, guys 800 free relay, which that was a tough record. Uh, Carl Wigley, the assistant coach, was actually part of the school record that had it before, broke it by two seconds. It's a really great way to start the meet. Just had some solid other relays as well um, on the girls' side and the guys. Um, and then I feel like just every day we got a little bit better. You know, had a lot of great performances, a lot of best times, um, a lot of our top, top five all-time list is going to look quite different after uh, this meet, which is always great. Had several different people put swims up there. You know, so it was a really solid meet overall for us. Conference is obviously a lot different than nationals. Um, we tend to go a little further in the season, but we finished, you know, early February this year. And it was kind of hard changing our mindset, you know, that conference was our big meet rather than just a step towards nationals. But um, once we got there and got going, um, we all had a lot of energy and we finished very strong. It was an outdoor pool. Um, and you know, with the weather, it's not that perfect, but I think um, it was hard for many people mentally because it was our last meet. And usually our last meet is nationals in March. It was different than last year, just the, by the fact that we didn't have um, a big meet after this swim meet. So um, it was different getting pumped up and getting ready to swim earlier in the season. It kicked off with like the 800 free relay. Um, I had a blast on that relay. Uh, we had Paul Marie Rose, uh, Justin Lopez Lamb, Ian Roos. That was probably the most fun I've ever had on a relay. Um, we broke the, the school record. I think it was awesome that Amanda won. Um, she worked her butt off for it, and um, there's no better way to go out in your senior year than winning both, um, both events. And I think she was a little bit surprised that she won, but um, it gave us a lot of points. And those first two days when she was diving, we were up in second place. So we needed those points pretty bad to end up where we did overall. With all the changes this year, it took us a little while to get going for sure. But um, once we got together and everyone started working together, we uh, made it happen in the end. And I think we're just going to take all those things that we learned as the season went on and carry them through next year. We had some great things happen this year to where we just got to build off of that. Right now I can think of six different records that I know could go down next year. Keep doing that, taking care of business individually. We're just going to keep getting better as a team. Um, and it's still a little bit of a building process year as we look towards that first NCAA year. I mean, we're still moving things in the direction where that's the goal, is to have the best team possible that first NCAA year. Individually, we got some places where we can just be that much better, and I think we got more people bought into the system now, you know, bought into what we're doing, and are going to come in with, you know, ready to go next year rather than this year it was kind of, okay, new coach, let's figure this out. So we're going to be in a little bit different place team-wise to start the year, which I think is going to help a lot. Um, and I think it's just going to set up for you know some really good things next year.